Hello everyone, welcome back to FactsFan, my station all about family and consumer sciences and home and career skills. Today I will show you how to make muffins. Alright, so the first step in the recipe is to preheat your oven to 350 degrees Fahrenheit and line a muffin tin with muffin papers. If you don't have muffin tin papers, you can spray it with a cooking spray. So today I'm going to make banana nut muffins, but you can make any kind of muffin that you want and you can find a recipe online that you like, or you can use the recipes that I give you in class. So as far as ingredients go, I'm going to start with the dry ingredients. So with making muffins, you're going to use obviously the muffin method of baking. So with the muffin method of baking, you're going to measure the dry ingredients and the liquid ingredients separately and then combine them until just mixed together. Okay. So you're going to need flour, brown sugar, cinnamon, baking soda, and some salt for the dry ingredients. All right, so I'm gonna measure one and three fourths cup of flour. So remember with flour, you wanna stir it first so that it's nice and light and airy and fluffy. You don't wanna pack it, okay? And then I'm going to scoop it into my dry measuring cup. After you fill it up all the way, then you are going to level it with a straight edge. Okay. And then I'm going to do three fourths cup. but you can also add one fourth to one half teaspoon of cinnamon. So I'm gonna add cinnamon just for some more taste. So I think I will do half a teaspoon. I'm gonna dip the spoon right in there and level right over top of it. There we go. Okay. And then of course you would also add the walnut. So for the liquid ingredients, I'm going to need melted butter, sugar, vanilla, oops, there goes my timer, and let me double check, two large eggs, and I think that's about it. So I will get those started. So I'm going to melt some butter first, and then get the sugar started. So remember when measuring brown sugar, you do pack the sugar. So you're going to need two thirds cup of brown sugar. I already did one third cup, so now I just need to do another one. So I'm going to scoop it in the cup. Use the back of the spoon to pack it into the cup. Just like this. And level it. Add that to my bowl. Okay. And then let me go melt this butter. All right, so I got my melted butter. I'm gonna add it to the sugar and I'm gonna whisk them together for about a minute well combined. So I'm just going to use my small whisk here and whisk it for about a minute. All right, so as you can see, after about a minute, it gets pretty thick in texture. Okay, so now I'm going to take some bananas, about two to three very ripe bananas. I'm going to mash them up. Okay, so let me just get this next one. You can use a fork to mash them, or you can use a potato masher, which is what this thing is. So I'm just going to mash those up really good. So that's going to take me a minute or two as well. All right, so as you can see, I got that mashed up pretty good. All right. So I'm going to use a rubber scraper. To scrape it to this bowl. There we 
있고요. 
probably could have added a little more nuts to this. So maybe four tablespoons instead. All right. And then I will add this to my oven. All right, so I have my one muffin tin filled up. Otherwise, they, the recipe says they make about 15, but maybe a little bit more, we'll see. So I'm gonna put them in the oven. I'm gonna step to the side, open it a little bit so I don't burn my face. Put them in the top shelf and set my timer for 14 minutes starting out. They take about 14 to 17 minutes, but always start with the lower time and you can always add time if needed. All right, so after 14 minutes, we'll check and see how they're doing. All right, so my timer just went off. I'm gonna take them out and check them. I can already kind of tell they're not done, but what you're going to do, you're going to take a toothpick and stick it through the middle. And if it comes out with any batter on it, which it did, you're going to put it in longer. I'm going to put it in for probably, I would say two to three more minutes since they're still pretty raw. No, no. everyone and here is the final product. I hope you enjoyed them. Bon appetit! Alright, thanks again everyone for joining me at my station and learning how to make muffins today. I hope you enjoy them and I'll see you next time. Bye!